Maybe let's keep an extra shirt in the car. That's cleaner. <laughs> he really does work, people. Ready? Hi everyone, I'm Braden. And I'm Nicole. Uh, on this week's episode, we're going to show you a little project we've been working on. We've been renovating a condo. Um, we completely gutted the place and we built it from the floors and the ground up. And one of the last things we did was we installed some bifold doors. So in this week's episode, we're going to show you how they were installed, um, show you some final photos and video of what they look like and we hope you guys like what we did and you can see how easy it is to upgrade any interior room and space in your own home. Hey, we're the Gears family. We own and operate Fenster Windows and Doors on Vancouver Island, BC, Canada. We're a collection of four kids, two parents, one daughter-in-law, four dogs, and one very spunky two-year-old. Follow along with our family while we make some of the most beautiful and energy efficient windows and doors in Canada. If you like what you watch, make sure to subscribe. So in today's video, we're going to show you guys how to install bifold doors. Um, we installed these doors behind me uh, yesterday, and today we have one more set to install in the hallway, which is just a single folding set. Um, they're super easy to install. I do suggest you have a helper with you um, for holding things and measuring. Um, Let's see how we do it. Let's get started. <laughs> this is the opening we're installing bifold doors into today. So when you're ordering bifold doors, you have to tell us what the finished opening is. So the width and the height of the finished opening. It's not like regular swinging doors where we need to know the rough opening. For bifolds, we need to know the finished opening. And when you order them from Fenster Windows, we know the size of the bifold doors to make based off of the finished opening dimensions. Is that the finished opening? This is the finished opening. What? You just said it like so many times in a row. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, so for this set, we're going to hinge the doors on which side, Nicole? The middle. Oh, it's one. Are we on this side? So they fold this way? But then you're gonna hit it with the door when it comes in. If the door opens. Yeah. So I would do That's it on the I inside then. Like, then you're gonna get stuck way over here. It's not, neither are ideal. I think we should fold them to the left. I think that you're gonna end up with broken doors if you do that, because someone's gonna come through the door and hit the doors. Okay, we're gonna fold to the right. Yeah. The bifold doors, there is no opening direction when they're ordered. They can fold left or right. It just depends on how you install them. Let's go back and look at these doors that we have already finished installing. So how the bifold door works is there's hinges down the middle. And then the door closest to the side of the opening is pinned 
at the top and the bottom. So this door is being supported completely by the hinges in between the two. There's nothing else holding this door up. It's just like an extension of this door. The hinges are completely holding that door up. Otherwise, it would be sagging off. The top of the door of this second door, it simply has a roller up here to help hold it vertical, but it holds no weight whatsoever. It's just a roller guide. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unpack our doors. So these bifold doors were made by Fenster Windows. They're solid Douglas fir, and they've been factory finished with a clear coat of paint. So they come wrapped in styrofoam and saran wrap, so they're protected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open them up, and because you don't see one side of the bifold door, it's always into the closet or folding together. The grading for bifold manufacturing and finishing is called a one side good. So one side needs to look good, the other side can have minor defects or blemishes because it will never be seen. So we're going to open them up, we're going to pick the best side, and we're going to start by laying these doors down on a table that has a, a cloth on it to protect the finish. And we're going to be putting the good side of the doors down, and we're going to be putting the hardware on the back side. So we've unpackaged our doors and they are pre-finished in a clear coat so we want to be careful not to scratch them or dent them. And we're just looking at the two sides and picking which side we like the best. Um, but both sides are really good on these doors. They're beautiful doors. And again, these are solid Douglas fir. It's got white whammy glass in it. They're one and three eighths inch thick um, with a bevel profile. And why is the bevel important? Purely cosmetics. No, it doesn't gather dust, my friends. So that it's way nice easier to clean. <laughs> for dusting and cleaning in the house. Okay, so the the good side, the side that you want facing out, goes down. That's why yeah, we just so flipped it over. The side of the doors that we're going to be looking at once they're installed is down. For hardware installation. For hardware installation on the table. And we're putting the doors to the tops are towards me. And we're just going to check this door out now. This and side looks better. I like this side better, so we're going to put it down. And then we're going to start by lining the doors up side by side. And when you order bifold doors from us, they come with hardware and a track. So the track we don't need right now, we're going to install that in the opening. And we can go ahead and open our hardware. So the hardware that comes with the doors that we sell is the Johnson 1700 series folding door hardware set. So in the kit, we have three hinges. We have the pivot that mounts to the wall on the bottom. On the top, the pivot is the track here. And then we have three different pivots that we attach to the doors. Uh, there's an adjustment wrench and there's a bag of screws. Now there are instructions on the bag, um, but they're not great. Um, some things aren't clear. And you have to be able to read really tiny writing. So follow along with us and we'll just show you what to do. What kind of equipment do you need? All right, so to do this, we're gonna need a small drill bit to pre-drill the screws. We need the adjustment wrench, and we need either a ruler or a measuring tape. We need a pen, and we need a drill or a screwdriver to install the screws. Pro tip. Your doors are going to come with these little protectors on the bottom. Take them off because you're going to need to put the hardware right where those 
little waxy pieces are. They just pop out with a little putty knife or something, just get it in there and then pull them out. So yeah, we're looking at the back side of the doors right now. And this side is gonna be the side that's anchored to the wall. So the doors are folding over to the side of the opening. So to start, you can position the three hinges. Ideally, you would position them uh, one at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle. But because these doors have this nice solid wood rail going across, which isn't quite in the middle of the door, we're gonna put the middle hinge where the rail is. Because the doors are gonna be strong there and that hinge is gonna offer more support than if it was floating up here near the glass. So in these hinges, they have this tab that goes in between the two doors and that spaces the doors the proper distance apart from one another. And then on why is the, this why is the spacing? It's so when important. the doors pivot, they don't actually pinch each other, they have clearance to turn next to each other. And on the other side, this plastic part points towards the pivoting side. So you can see our pivot is going to be over here. So we're facing the plastic to that side. This is where having an, a helper is nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line the doors up so they're nice and level across the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is have my helper hold the doors together with just light pressure so that the two doors are actually tight on this tab. And then I'm gonna pre-drill the screw holes and we're gonna use the shortest screws that come in the bag. There's four different types of screws that come in the hardware bag. So the first type is this long screw with a flat or blunt tip, and that's used to hold on this cheap handle that comes with the doors for free that we suggest you discard. The remaining three types of screws are basically a short, a medium, and a long. So the long screws, so you can see they're flat here and they're oval on the top. And those are gonna be used to install the track in the finished opening. The medium length screws are a flat head screw. So they're tapered there into the flat head. And we're gonna use those to attach the pivot brackets to the tops and bottoms of the doors. And then these super short screws are what we used to fasten the hinges. are attached the next thing we're going to do is attach the three pivot brackets into the doors so all three brackets are different so we first of all we have this one with the plastic roller and that's going to go on the top of the doors opposite of the pivot side or the fixed side which is this side. So we're gonna put it at that top corner over there. Then we have these two brackets, which are similar, but you see one has a mushroom cap and one is just a cylinder. The cylinder is gonna go on the bottom of the pivot side, so here. And then the mushroom is gonna go on the top of the pivot side. Now, the reason there's the mushroom here is going to slide into the top track. And then by closing this tab, it locks it in place so it can't fall out. So when we're positioning the pivot side brackets, which are the two metal brackets, the 
long part of it is gonna face out or towards the edge or towards the pivot. So this is gonna be installed here and it's gonna be installed like this. I don't know if you can see that on camera, so I'll get a closer look. So the long side again is facing out. And that's gonna be attached there. And then likewise on the top with the mushroom bracket, the long side is also gonna be faced out. So that's gonna be attached right there. Now, when you install these brackets, they're gonna be installed in the center of the door, the center of the door thickness wise, but we want the center of the pivot to be two inches from the edge of the door, or we want the edge of the bracket to be five eighths of an inch from the edge of the door. It's gonna give you the same positioning. Now the last bracket we're installing is the plastic roller bracket in the top corner opposite the pivot side. This one is in a different position. So again, the long part of the bracket is gonna be facing towards the pivot, but this time the specification is the center of the roller is an inch and a half away from the door edge. So again, this side here is the pivot side. So at the top of the door on this side, we have the mushroomed pivot and the center of the pivot is two inches from the edge of the door. And the long part of the bracket is facing out towards the pivot. On the opposite top corner is the plastic roller bearing. And this one again, the long part is facing towards the pivoting side of the unit, except the center of the plastic roller bearing is an inch and a half from the edge of the door. Now, if we move to the bottom corner of the door, we have the cylinder pivot bracket. And again, the long part is facing out and the center of the pivot is two inches from the edge of the door. The next step is installing the track in the opening the doors are going. So if we look at the track, this is the pivot for the fixed side of the unit. And this is a little bumper for the closing side. So the side that it opens to or the side that it goes to when the it closes? The side that it closes to okay. or opens from. Okay, so we want that there. It's gonna be on this side the yeah. doors are gonna fold this way. Yeah. Now, I'll just show you now. You can see there's a screw here. There's also a screw on the bumper. So if we need to straighten the doors out, or if we need to have, move the doors a little bit more to the left or a little bit more to the right, we can loosen off the screw and move where the pivot is and just retighten it. Now, for the other ones, while you're screwing this one in, can you explain how you do this for a set of double So a set doors? of doubles is just like a single, but you're gonna do one where the pivot's on the right and one where the pivot's on the left. And when you're finished installing both units, 
you can adjust the pivot point to move both sets of doors closer to each other or further away from each other so that you have a nice even gap in the center between the two doors and that there is a gap there so they're not so close together they can't close. So the next step is to have a helper have you carry the doors over, which are now hinged together, and we gotta slide that mushroom top pivot point into the top pivot. So basically the trick that I have found is you want, you need to be holding it up and bringing it over, and once it's kind of snapped into its uh, home there, we can lock it in by closing that tab. So the only trick or the, I guess, the additional level of difficulty is the plastic roller wheel needs to be fit into the slot of the track before you get the mushroom pivot into the plastic anchor. So once that top mushroom pivot is locked into the plastic bracket, there it is, and the tab is pushed shut. The doors are now hanging just by that one bracket. So the next step is to have your helper is gonna hold the doors straight and we're gonna hold the bottom pivot bracket where it needs to be for the doors to be vertical and straight with an even gap when closed. So I want a pen to mark the position of the bracket and here's our bracket. And you can see this bracket, this anchor or the pivot point, which is gonna hold the bottom of the door, flexes on a spring. So if you ever need to remove the doors, that's how you pop the bottom pivot off. So looking at the bottom bracket, it's going to mount on the wall like this. And then that pivot in the bottom of the door, let's see, there it is, is gonna sit in that hole. And then the other thing you can do by loosening the screw is you can move the pivot in and out so that it is below that top pivot should you need to adjust it. This is also how you can make the door straighter. So if you move the top pivot over or back or the bottom pivot over <laughs> or back, you can make the doors straight. So Nicole, go ahead, jump in the closet, please and pull the door shut. So now the doors are fully shut and they are just hanging off that pivot right now. And Nicole's foot is on the inside pushing out so that the doors don't swing in. So if we're looking here, you can see there's a lot more of that edge visible than that side. So we're gonna wanna move this whole unit this way. But what I want to do is just mark where this bracket should be in and out, because that does not affect the adjustability left and right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come down here and we're just gonna move the doors over to the side. And then I'm gonna slip this in between the door and the wall and install the pivot on the anchor. And then I'm just gonna use a pen to mark 
where it needs to go. So when we were trying to install this bracket, the doors were actually so tight to the wall, I didn't have room to move them over and have that fit in. So what I've done is I've loosened the screw right there in the middle, and I've loosened it using this little wrench that's included in the package. So using that end of it, having the doors opened, you can slip it onto the nut and loosen it. So once that's loosened off, you can see that pivot point can slide on the track. So you can position the doors left and right where you want them and then tighten that down. So now the doors are hanging, so we've installed the top pivot into the bracket and we've locked it in place with the plastic pin. And at the bottom, you can see there we've mounted that wall bracket and we put the pivot through and that's that spring-loaded section there that we can bend it down to remove it if we ever need to. And the last thing to do is adjust this little bumper up here in the track. So the way you properly adjust that is you loosen off the screw. Okay, you can then just move it in and you just slowly close the doors. So it's actually pushing that bumper as you close the doors. So that's fully closed. And now we're gonna open the doors. And what we wanna do is move that bumper three millimeters or an eighth of an inch in. I'm just gonna eyeball it here. That's a lot more than three, but I just wanna see what that does. So that's now tightened in about three millimeters the way in. We're gonna close the door here, and you can see. So it's hit the bumper and the door's almost shut, which is perfect, because we actually wanna use that bumper as a little bit of a spring, so the doors kind of snap shut and hold shut. So there's actually a force there, you can see, holding the door shut. Because if that wasn't touching or providing a force back, the doors would be just self-opening or they wouldn't stay closed. So if the doors, if you have bifold doors that are not staying closed, it's probably just that little bumper that needs to be adjusted and moved a little closer into the doors so it's actually doing some pushing back. And there we have it. He got a bit carried away and forgot to videotape this part but the doors don't come with a hole for hardware, so you have to drill a hole where you want to place your hardware, just with whatever reasonable drill bit you have. bifold doors and upgrade your rooms um, if you liked today's video please hit the like button and the subscribe button leave us a comment too we will read every single one we promise good or bad let us know what you liked let us know what you didn't like and if you have any requests for future videos and topics that we can go over we're all ears and we'd love to hear what you think so please like subscribe and we'll see you next week Bye.